excuse me, Hunter. Oh, apparently, you're afraid of my words. Uh, here goes. <laughs> oh. I like to reclaim my time, Mr. Chairman. Burst their bubble. Wow, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. I think it's clear and obvious for everyone watching this hearing today that Hunter Biden is terrified of strong conservative Republican women because he can't even face my words as I was about to speak to him. What a coward. And this is also a coward that sat right here in front of Mickey Babbitt, Please, Ashley I'll Babbitt's mother. Who was let me make a statement, okay? What crack do you normally smoke, Mr. Biden? Let me start again. Hunter Biden was and is a private citizen. What's Despite this, Republicans have yeah. sought to use him as a surrogate to attack his father. And despite their improper partisan motives, on six different occasions since February of 2023, we have offered to work with the House committees to see what and how relevant information to any legitimate inquiry could be provided. Okay, what you have been watching, pure congressional mayhem. The House Oversight Committee was holding a hearing to find Hunter Biden in contempt of Congress for not agreeing to appear for a deposition. The thing is, Hunter Biden showed up at the hearing, apparently surprising all the Republicans, including the committee chair, and just set off a theatrical explosion. Yes. And you just saw Hunter Biden and his lawyer, Abby Lowell, leaving that building right there. Quite a moment. Melanie Zanona on Capitol Hill, you saw much of it. Uh, explain what we just saw. Yeah. Yeah, well, Hunter Biden made a surprise appearance today in front of the House Oversight Committee, which was about to recommend that he be referred to the Department of Justice for defying a subpoena and be held in contempt of Congress. Now, as a little bit of the backstory, Republicans have requested that Hunter Biden sit down for a closed door deposition, but him and his lawyer have maintained time and time again that he would be willing to show up for a public hearing and that he doesn't want his testimony to be selectively leaked by Republicans. And today, him and his legal team made the point that he's here again today. He is willing to talk to Republicans. Democrats made the point that he is not scared of the committee, that he's willing to talk to them, and basically trying to show that these contempt proceedings are without merit. But Republicans pushed back. It was a very contentious start to the hearing. You had Marjorie Taylor Greene and Nancy Mace really pushing back on his appearance. They said this was a disruption. They asked what the rules were. They said this is just a political stunt from Hunter Biden. And Nancy Mace said he should be arrested here on the spot. Now, Hunter Biden showed up. He was in the committee room for about, I would say, around 20 minutes. He was in the crowd. He did not speak going into the hearing room. He didn't answer questions from reporters. And then afterwards, his lawyer just gave a prepared statement. Hunter Biden did not really engage with reporters afterwards. But clearly, he's trying to make a point here, right? He is trying to make the point that, once again, he is willing to speak to Republicans as long as it is in a public setting. And that is really what this contentious fight over the contempt proceedings boils down to. But it also comes amid this broader picture of House Republicans really struggling to prove that President Biden either profited or made policy decisions because of his son's foreign business deals. They have made a centerpiece of their impeachment inquiry into the president. They have struggled, though, to provide any evidence. And so now they're moving ahead with contempt proceedings, which is going to be a showdown. This is going to probably pass out of both the House Oversight Committee and out of the House Judiciary Committee. Then it'll go to the full floor. And then it's up to the DOJ to determine whether to prosecute. But again, the big picture here, it was absolute chaos. It, it was a circus and just another day, really, here on Capitol Hill, guys. <laughs> Look, we're used to drama on Capitol Hill. That was that unscripted. Was Scripted drama right there in the sort of bad reality show that doesn't, genre. I don't remember that happening. The we're gonna we're gonna hold a, not even a contempt hearing, but we're gonna hold a hearing specifically about one person who they say hasn't showed up, and then they show up. I don't remember this anything like this happening. Clearly, they were surprised. It was a schoolyard brawl, basically, and the words being used were so uncouth, I'm not going to report, report some of them, but we heard from Congress people using all kinds of words that you would normally not hear in the halls of Congress, never mind in a committee and on television. It just shows you how things have changed and the way people fight now. All right, our thanks to Melanie Zanona up on Capitol Hill. This is still unfolding before our eyes, so we'll be right back.